Well, it's Sunday morning, about, uh, I don't know, about 2.45 in the morning, on the third month of the 22nd day, 3.22, that fucking evil number, and, um, of 2020. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I mean, you know, I've been talking about this shit for a very long time. I've been talking about this stuff is going to happen for a very long time. And, um, you know, Even though I did know it, and I knew it in my gut, that it was going to happen, this was going to happen, the shit hit the fan, whatever you want to call it, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it in my gut. I knew it. I, I knew it. I, 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 uh, I have a, ha I, I've had a habit. Which, you know, I, I really, 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 really need to stop doing that. Is ignoring my gut. Ignoring what God's trying to tell me. Or what the signs and all that stuff. Because, I mean, I, I knew this was coming. I've been talking about it. I've been telling people to prepare, get ready, and all this other shit for a very, very long time. I mean, quite honestly, since Daddy Bush was president. You know, Bush Sr. I, I mean, I kind of knew this shit was coming then. And I... <laughs> <laughs> I I don't I I've got a cat. I got a cat that um that that's a stray cat and um and she's stuck with me for a long time now. She's been with me for about I don't know about 3 or 4 years. And I sat outside looking at my cat thinking you know I'm probably going to have to leave I mean there's a damn good chance that I'm not going to be able to stay here on my property there's a damn good chance that I'm not safe here so there's a damn good chance that I I might have to leave before everything gets fucking, I mean, like, completely locked down. Where you can't even, you can't even get on, you can't even travel around. You can't even go from, you know, one state to the next or whatever. But I sat there. I mean, I don't know why, but... I worked my fucking ass off for all this shit, all this stuff, and and it's all gonna be gone. Um, you know, because honestly, I, I I'll be honest. I mean, I can't really protect the property that I'm on. I can't really protect m my the property. I can't protect my stuff. I can't protect me here. And then I was like, you know, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, you know, if I did go, I can, you know, grab as much stuff as I can that I think I need and and go. And then just leave everything else as like a fuck it, you know, fuck it. I left it. It's, it's you know. There's a damn good chance that I, if I take off 
for two weeks or however long it takes. There's a damn good chance that what I leave behind won't be here. And it just broke my fucking heart. It broke my fucking heart to sit there and look at my cat. And I mean, you know, goddamn, dude. It's a fucking cat. But it broke my fucking heart to sit there and look at my cat and say, you know, there's a good chance that I might have to leave. And you you, you might not want to go where I'm going. And you might have to, I might have to leave you behind. God damn it, man. I know. I know that this is going to affect so many people around the world. And it's breaking my heart that I might have to leave my cat behind. To fend for herself, you know, which she's a stray, which is okay. She can, she can probably find food, you know, because she's, she's good like that. But, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think she would want me to just throw her in my fucking vehicle and, and take her with me. I don't think she'll like that. I don't think she'll want to do that. Well, I honestly don't know what the fuck she wants. Quite honestly, she's, she's stuck with me for fucking... I mean, it's probably four years now. And, you know... She's been a really good cat. You know, and... Uh, I don't... I don't know... I don't know exactly what's coming. I just know it is going to be really fucking bad. And probably for a really long time. And even after. I don't foresee. Uh, unless we as people around this goddamn planet. Is if, if all of us around this planet that are being forced to give up our livelihoods, give up our businesses, forced to actually probably give up our lives by these evil f fucking people. That want to be the rulers of the world. And we're all just expendable. We're all just. Cannon fodder. We're all just. Peasants. And, we're, and, and it doesn't matter if we live or die. So, I mean, there is a good chance. I don't know. Because, I mean, honestly, my gut has told me that I should already be gone. I should already be gone. That's what my gut tells me, and I've been ignoring that. and been hoping that, that I'm wrong. You know? It's like, I know I'm right. But I'm also hoping that I'm wrong. See, this is the problem with hope. Hope. Ah. Hope is an empty, empty concept. There's nothing there. So, I don't know. There's a good chance that I don't know. I, I might not be here. I don't know. I, I don't know. 
It's just there's probably a good chance that I won't be here. And hopefully I can get out and get to where I want to go before everything gets fucking locked down. Because I don't want to be anywhere like where I'm at right now, for instance. I mean, I love this. I love this property. I mean, this property's been in our family for shit. I don't know. Probably about five generations, probably. Something like that. I think it goes back about four or five granddaddies. <laughs> and, um... I was kind of looking forward to, um, you know, doing some stuff here. I was really looking forward to, like, you know, fixing up the place. Um, I was I was wanting to wall up that, I got a pole barn out there. I was wanting to wall up and actually make me, uh, um, like, half of it, like uh, like my shop. And then the other half of it, like, uh, like my house. And, um, you know, I had, I, I had all these, all these plans that I wanted to do here. And, uh, one fell swoop. It's all going to be gone. You know, and I know, I know, I know I'm not the only one. I mean, I mean, it's kind of a sick fucking thing of thinking about it. But in in some ways, that's one of the things that only gives me, you know, gives me solace, you know, or is to know that I'm, it's not only happening to me. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it, it kind of makes me feel a little bit better just because I know that it's not just happening to me. You know, the shit hit, hitting the fan is not just happening to me. It's happening to everybody around the world. And it's just the beginning. It's the first fucking wave, y'all. I just, man, it just... It, it just wants me to, I just, I just want to break down and fucking, and cry my eyes out, because I mean, it, it makes me, I mean, I sit there, like when I, like I said, like, I sit there and look at my cat, and I look at her thinking like, God damn it, man, I'm going to have to, I'm probably going to have to leave you here to fend for yourself, and you not knowing what the fuck happened. It's like, you know, you were like sitting on my fucking front stoop waiting for me to come back. And I'm not. I might not come back. God damn it, man. I am crying for help from all you people out there. Not only in the United States. I'm begging all you people out there around the fucking world. We cannot allow the new world order to step in and put the boots of tyranny on all of us. We can't allow it. I mean, quite honestly, we're 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 in a defensive mode right now. I feel like I'm in a defensive mode, you know. It's like, um, all right, you guys just threatening my life, my livelihood, and everybody else that I love. You've just you just basically killed us off. Well, in self defense, I think we should kill you off. I say death to the new world order. That's what I say. What about all you guys out there? See, I am not that guy 
to go out and hunt these motherfuckers down. I'm not that guy. I don't have the I don't have the the know-how, the training, the weapons, the, the funds. I don't have any of that shit. I'm just some dude that's been busting my ass all my fucking life just to scrape my fucking scrape by. I live paycheck to paycheck. Put it this way. I miss one week of pay on a normal scenario, on a normal situation. I miss one week of pay. I can't pay my bills here. I'm basically homeless, which, which is, it's basically, uh, you know, I'm being forced into it anyway. I'm basically, I'm basically being forced to go homeless again. I mean, because, um, um, my home I don't think it's going to be safe. I just don't think it's going to be safe here. I mean... So, <laughs> I know there's people out there. There's got to be people out there. There's got to be people out there that do have the know-how, that do have the fucking resources, that do know what they're doing, and they do believe in liberty and freedom for themselves and everybody else. You know, there's so many people out there that really think that there's good people in government and all that stuff, and they're fighting, you know, yeah, they're fighting against the deep state and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't I don't see that happening. If there was those good people out there, this wouldn't be happening. This wouldn't be happening at all. If there was actually good people in our government or any government, any fucking government. Government is I'm going to tell you something and I'm going to make a prediction right fucking now. And you know what? I bet you this is what's going to happen. I bet you that the governments of this fucking planet are going to kill more people than this fucking Karachi virus or whatever you want to fucking call it. There are going to be more people that will die at the hand of the government and its enforcers than this fucking flu virus. People, we cannot allow this to happen. We cannot allow this to happen. It's already almost too late. I mean, well, actually, it, I mean, the way I, I'm, uh, the way I'm thinking, you know, the New World Order, their, their motto is order out of chaos. So what they do and what they did is release the chaos. And they're going to sit back and help out some of that chaos so more people will die. Because in their mind, what's left over after it all kind of calms down, what's left over, they will, they will rule over and they will enslave. If we all just bend over and take it up the ass, yeah. I mean, honestly... You know, it only took 3% of the population to defeat the British Army back in the day. I wonder what 3% 3, 3 of the population of the whole fucking planet can do against the fucking New World Order.
you know, everybody, I want everybody to be safe. You know, I want you guys to take care of yourself. I want all of you guys to look out for yourself and your family. Because that's what's important. And, um... I will say this also. Everybody that's in like law enforcement, military, you know, the uh the teeth of the popul uh, of the politicians, you know, the ones that do the enforcement of the politicians edicts, you people out there. I don't know what your religious affiliations are. If you believe in God or what. But the two, the ten, the first ten amendments in the Bill of Rights, those are God's laws. These are, these are rights and laws that is given to us by God, not by government. They were pinned on a piece of paper to be insured and protected. And every fucking one of y'all took an oath to uphold and protect the Constitution, which in turn is my civil liberties, my individual rights, my individual liberties and freedoms. You took an oath to protect and uphold those. Now, when it comes down to you law enforcement and you military out there, you have a moral obligation and a duty to do that. Uphold and honor your oath. So when all these, when these orders start, start trickling down to you, I want you to ask yourself, is this is this going to is this going against the constitution going against god because if you go against the constitution which is god's laws and god's god given rights to the people if you go against the constitution or the the bill of rights if you go against that the first 10 amendments in the bill of rights fuck all the rest of them the 10 the first 10 amendments in the bill of rights if you go against them by following an order and obeying that order and enforcing that order if you do if you do that you are an enemy of the people you you will be going against god you will be an enemy of god Now, I, I want you guys to really think about it because, you know, it's not really going to affect you a whole lot until you start seeing it happening to your own family. You know, I bet a bunch of you guys are not even really thinking about it either. You know, all this quarantine and all this forced shit and all that stuff, that's going to happen to your family too. You know, just because law enforcement and military are exempt from all kinds of shit, they've, they've allowed themselves to be exempt from all kinds of shit. It might not go for your family, you know. That exemption might not go for your family. And, and your family will be quarantined. Your family, all that stuff, will probably get shot defending themselves. What are you going to do then? Are you going to continue 
you know, doing your job. Or are you going to do what's right? Now this is a long video. I know it. And it's going to take forever to download. But I had to get that out, man. I just... It just broke my fucking heart going out there and... And looking at my cat in the eye. And, and, and thinking, you know, shit. I, I'm not going to be able to take you with me. I'm going to have to leave you here. And you're just going to be sitting on my fucking front porch. Waiting for me to come back. And I may or may not come back. Hell, there might not be anything left when I come back. Or if I can come back. There might not be anything left. This place might be ransacked, looted, fucking burned to the ground. Fuck, I don't know. I won't, if I'm not here, I won't know about it. Until I get, if, until I come back and see if my, all my stuff's still sitting here. You know, like a, like my house. <laughs> I mean, you know, I could go, I can go and do my self quarantine for two weeks, and you know, come back. Hell, somebody could fucking come by and burn my fucking house down while I'm gone. So, you know, it's a very good possibility I could come back and there'd be nothing but fucking ashes sitting here. Or I could go out and try and, and self quarantine myself for two weeks and then it end up being a hell of a lot longer than two weeks. Just because situations, you know, evolve and happen that way. So, I mean, it could be a fucking, uh, you know, a year. It, it could be a couple months. It could be a year. It could be two years. Before I can actually make my way back down here and get back to my house. That's a long time away from my, my house. And, and I'm not that lucky to have nothing messed with in that time. You know? Especially if neighbors get desperate and start looking around for stuff to steal. You know, it's a good possibility all my shit, my, my house will get broken into and everything fucking looted and ransacked and, you know, and then some bored fucking teenager decides to come over here and fucking set it on fire. You know? It could happen. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm just going to pick my cat up and throw her in the fucking vehicle and say, suck it up until we get where we're going. And then, then you can decide if you want to stick around or not. <laughs> you know, fuck, I don't know. I don't even know if she wants to, I don't even know if she'll even get inside the vehicle. I don't even know. I mean, it's a possibility that she will, but I don't know if she wants to go where I'm going. I have no idea. It just breaks my heart, man. Working all my life, man, for the stuff I got and the life that I want. I, I'm working toward having and it's all being, it's all being taken away from me by force. Like I said, it does give me a little comfort that all this shit hit in the fan is not just happening to me. Because I, I've been through a lot of shit in my life. I'm I'm kind of glad that 
it's not just happening to me. So, anyway, like I said, this is going to take forever to download. You know, it's already up to 30 minutes, so it's probably going to take fucking six hours to fucking download this damn thing. This is the Wingnut Radio for Anarchy TV. And I'm back out.